All right, we got Trader's Corner. LTK here. Love Them Knives channel, Trader's Corner. It's on the 10th of every month, so you need to tune in, dude. If you want to know when my next knife sale is, tune in to Trader's Corner. I get pinned now. I've had about six or seven or eight inquiries on, like, when's the sale going to be? So... Yeah, I, I tell them, I announce it on my Trader's Corner because like, going forward, maybe February and beyond, I'll just do a, like 15th of the month. And then if I have a second one during that month, then I'll announce it. But for this month, it's going to be on the 16th because I ain't ready. I ain't ready. I've got a ton of damn knives to check in and put on the table, but they just keep coming. They keep coming. Um... So, you know, and because I'm getting, you know, 90 to 100 or more items per sale, I, I'm going to be stuck with needing to do two sales per month. And the reason all these knives are coming in, let me tell you, they're coming in primarily from Patreon members because I do not charge them my 10% seller fee on the top two valued knives that they send me. So they know they're saving a lot of money and they've checked around and there's nobody that's doing it for less, okay? So that's why the knives are pouring in. And you know, if you are like the rest of us, complete knife whores, we buy knives, but by God, we sell knives too. And that's the problem. That is the problem. Now. Buy, sell, and trade. That's the whole point of Trader's Corner. Initially, it keeps morphing, okay? It keeps morphing. But buy, sell, and trade. So if you want to buy something like, hey, dude, you know, put it in the comment section. Unless you, you contact me prior to the 10th, then I'll read it off on my channel, and I'll put your information in the description section, comment section, so people can see that and contact you. Otherwise, do it in the comment section. Like, hey, I'd like an AD20 um, for 250 bucks. Oh, I'll trade you a Spyderco Ladybug for one. And let's see how that works for you. Let me know exactly how that works, too. Because uh, <laughs> this was first born, and uh, my car and all my pharma stock. And that's worth a lot of money these days. <laughs> Pfizer, Moderna. <laughs> Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, which leads me to the next thing, by, by the way. I normally do the SHOT Show. January 2020 was the last SHOT Show, and then the Chinese were driven out of the country, and uh, then we all had the lockdown in March after Nancy Pelosi shamed us into celebrating the Chinese New Year in February. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're overprepared. And then all hell broke loose. Okay, so 2021 January, there was no SHOT Show. Okay, I think Blade didn't happen either, right? Um, on In, in uh, 2020, that was, remember, knocked back to August and then completely deleted. Okay, so 2022, I signed up last October to go to SHOT Show. It is not a show for the public. Public cannot attend. It is a trade show, like the Consumer Electronics Show, which is a trade show in Vegas that's going on either now or just ended, whatever. And that was uh, down by 75% as far as attendance goes. And they cut a day off the end of the show because it was such a bust, okay? So Vegas has got a mandate. You have to wear a mask. And for the CES, the Consumer Electronic, you had to take a COVID. You had to have a negative COVID test within 24 hours, right, of the show. You had to also prove your vaccination status. And on top of that, didn't matter. You still got to wear a mask. Whether it's just a diaper, a loose diaper, a little hanky chiff over your face or whatever that's totally useless, right? You still had to wear it because they want you to submit to their will. So I decided, I pulled out and I go, nah, I'm not going to do this. Um, there's no science behind what they're doing in my book, okay? I'm fully vaccinated. I mean, I got vaccinated and think I'm going to go, you know? And I'll probably have, get to bypass, no. But I won't. So I got to be like, I have to act like an unvaccinated person. And it doesn't matter regardless. Okay. 
I already had COVID, so I got natural immunity. So, but I, you know, I've done my deal. I've done my due diligence. I'm done. I'm not wearing a mask. I'll guarantee you that. Plus, a lot of the people that I wanted to really meet with and talk to are not going to be there because they're international and they're not going to be there. So that kind of busts it up. And then I've looked at some of the pre, you know, previews of new models coming out and not a whole lot that's just really turning me on. And, you know, wearing a mask for four days and being on your feet for nine hours a day and you're shoulder to shoulder. See, the thing is, there's 60,000 people in this convention center. So it is a slug of humanity. I mean, you cannot just walk freely up and down the aisles. There's masses of people. If you've ever been there, um, masses of people. So you are shoulder to shoulder with everybody, okay? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't care about Omicron. I don't care about being infected with it. I probably already have been and didn't know it. It doesn't matter. I don't care. But if they care so much to make you want to wear a mask, they should care about the spread of the virus, and they don't. It just, it has mushroom clouded in Vegas. So I don't want to go because the international guys are not going to be there, the people I really, really want to talk to and see. And I think the attendance is going to be down. And number three, I can't support a city that has draconian measures that I feel are really not even based in science. And I don't want to spend $2,500 on hotels, transportation, you know, and all that, meals and entertainment, whatever, you know, going there and being gagged. Because I do, I feel like I can't get breath. I can't get a full breath of air. You guys ever, you know, when you wear a mask? I pull it away from my face because I, I, I gasp for breath. Uh, you ever see fish in a pond when they're up and they're like that because the oxygen content is so low that they're up at the top? That's what I feel like. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Um, so I don't want to do it. It's just, it's exhausting enough without a mask. And, but it's so rewarding because I get to see all the people that come in internationally as well as the national. And I'm just going, nah, nah, I'm going to skip. So I ain't going to go. So Mr. Yakety Yak here, uh, is a, a short story long telling you why I'm not going to go. Not going to go. Forget about it. So uh, I'll be interested in seeing the videos from like, uh, there's going to be others that are going to be there. Birdshot's usually there, so Birdshot might have some interesting stuff. Blade HQ runs around and does a bunch of shit. So I'll be interested in seeing what they're talking about. And I'm going to sit back here with no mask and a nice cold beer, and I'll watch them do this this year. And maybe if we ever come to our senses and decide what our public policy is going to be about living with the various and the sundry viruses, uh, then maybe I can go back to SHOT Show. I don't know. Blade, if Blade requires me to walk around suffocated in a mask, I'm not going to do that either. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to support that. All right. Trader's Corner, but I want to give you guys some information on some different things. Number one, and I don't want to hear any bitching and moaning later about this because the beluga, okay, the petrified fish beluga, and I didn't, I have mine in the in the basement, I think. Um, it's coming out in a smaller size, so it's the PFP01X because the PFP01 is the full-size beluga. But this is coming out in different handle uh, materials, okay? And it's small. So it's a three-inch blade, six or seven inches overall, or maybe even under seven overall length. Just came out today. Just came out today. How many people bitched and moaned that they missed out on the beluga? Okay? Now, there are full-size belugas on Amazon. Petrified Fish is the seller there. So do that. AliExpress got them as well. But on the PFP, on the Petrified Fish website, you can get these new knives. I haven't seen them on Amazon today yet. But you can get them on their website, okay? So check that out. Because, I mean, I want to hear people like, 
oh, damn, I missed out. Because they've sold out, like, not the little ones. They're brand, brand new. But the big ones have sold out three different times, you know. And people are like, ah, I missed the ones in my car. Ah, oh, I didn't, you know, whatever. So, okay, this is the Scout. And you can also get this. This is a new one. I haven't put it on my channel yet. But this is a Scout. So this is really, oh, by the one, by the way, these little ones here, coming back to this and belaboring the point, uh, 14C28N. This is Sandvik steel on these, okay? So, I mean, to me, that's a plus as opposed to D2. And speaking of D2, here's the Bunta, okay? And it says D2 there, but on the other side, it says it's the 868, okay? So this is the Bunta, and it's in my cart. It's like $31, $32, you know, this is a full-size knife. I like this design. I think that's a hell of a deal. I mean, I think it's a hell of a deal for the price. You know why? Because, good Lord, these D2 G10 budget knives, have you seen them kind of crawling up? Have you? I have. I mean, they're like freaking 68 to $70 now. I mean, look at Kubi, too. I mean, you, I do have discount codes. I'm going to put them down below. But I mean, without the discount code, a lot of the Kubis are at $70. And it's like, oh, well, and, and some of them are OS 10. Okay. Well, this is OS 10 too. And this is 150. So yikes. What am I saying? Um, and I'm bitching about 70 bucks. Okay. So I did color this one. This was that. Blade HQ exclusive in Jade. And I think you can go back and get... I, they're restocking these, so... I got jacked when I bought this one because they were all out of stock, so I grabbed this on the secondary market. But talk about OS 10 and not even getting G10, okay? Grivery, and it's 150 bucks. <laughs> not counting not counting tax, okay? Oh, my God. Uh, so you didn't see it in this color unless you watched me on my Instagram, but I released this one with that, with the jade color just a couple days ago. That was hilarious. Oh, I know. Wipe the drool off, damn it. Okay, hold on. I just, I got a slick finger. Okay. This is the Corvid XL. Not COVID. Corvid XL by Coke by we snorted way too much coke when we were in the tool shop and we came up with this design what in the hell you know phil harvey you know the peacemaker the peacekeeper you know the huge ass knife i think skelton did one on his channel i mean it is i mean he's where is he he's in cornwall in england he's a knife maker right i mean check him out online but i'll show a picture of one of his knives in this video that I'm doing on this. But this is insane. This is insanity. Uh, and it's not even nine inches long, but it's all kinds of crazy ass shit. And I'll tell you what, this came out in tan, okay? So I got it in tan, which I think the box said like, what did it say? It says, uh, oh, it's light snad. It's snad. So. <laughs> I didn't even know Snad was a color. I'm such an ignorant person, you know? It's Snad. It was Snad. And so making it blue was not sad. It was a good thing. Because I don't like Snad very well, I guess. So there's that insanity. What the hell? But this thing is, uh, it weighs like mm, about three of these together, something like that. But you got to get one of these. Uh, that is, and they got the micro out. And I don't have the micro. It's all sold out. It's like, jeez. So there's the, uh, oh, okay. So if you're looking at this, and um, this is from the sample division at Real Steel. Where is that sample division? Okay. So this is the hugging, not kissing, not snuggles. It's hugging. It's hugging. Um, come on, man, please, re real steel, give me a buzz before you name a knife, please. Maybe it's not too late. This is sample division. Uh, so this is a Bragnitz design. Ivan Bragnitz, of course, 
he did the rocket, he did the Odin, he did, he's done a bunch of shit. Okay, he's bu a bunch, and he, he's good. So this is really cool because this is an Axis style, and it's VG10, and it's going to be, you know, in your budget category. It ain't going to be no $500 shooter or anything. But um, uh, this is way cool. This is one of four in existence right now. So take it for that. Hey, I feel like an importante person. 3.7 ounces, but this is... This is three and three quarter inches to the to this bolster. It's 3.66 up here. But it's only eight and an eighth overall length. So that's a lot of blade for the handle. But I mean, that just, it's really sharp too. But it's just such a sensible looking knife, doesn't it? I mean, it is so comfortable in the hand. This is definitely going to be a carry. This is going to like turn my crank like this. And you can see a lot of blue on here because I hit all these just uh, two days ago in the dye pot under uh, sapphire blue. That, you know, liquid, RIT, liquid, uh, it's for synthetic. If you get sapphire blue from RIT, it is a synthetic um, uh, dye. But so it's good for plastics and synthetics and stuff like that. But this is my, of course, my Migoron. And the other one I've got is in uh, Tropical Teal. Jeez. Oh, tropical Teal. So I've got one in each. Oh, I've slathered myself in Migoron. Luxury. The Valona. The Valona ain't no Valona. It's good. Um, so look for this. But look for this to come out from real steel. And then in the future, I think they may do micarta. They do some other things, that kind of thing. So check that out. Don't check this out. These things will cost you a billion dollars. 1.6 billion is what I paid for this one. Oh my God. But I had to have the AD20 and I wanted it in this optic yellow color. So I bought this on the secondary market. Uh, I got taken back behind the barn. They kicked the shit out of me. They took all my money, and that's what I got. And that was it. I mean, I took a thrashing. You don't even want to know. It's just ugly all the way around. And this Monster Dog by Kubi. Okay, news flash. This is breaking news right now. <laughs> Okay, you can go on Kubi and find Monster Dog in G10 is coming out. Now, this is a D Dimitri Osarenko. Okay, he, if that name seems familiar to you, then you're a genius. But otherwise, no. Uh, he did the Kaiser October. Remember that? Look up the Kaiser October and look at that design. Very reminiscent, okay, within his design language here. But these thumb studs are huge they're huge uh, but it's a little monster dog i mean it's 4.8 ounces so it's not an ultra lightweight but it's like seven inch overall knife you know three inch blade so it's small that way but it's almost four millimeter thick blade stock so it's a beast it's a little beast you know and uh it's way cool so you'll see my video coming out on that but I don't have a G10 one. I think it says coming soon. So the Monster Dog in G10. So this one, you know, I, I, I priced it at White Mountain. And after discount, I could get this for $169. And I saw another place where you get it for $168. So, and I've seen them as high as $192. So they're in that but I, you know, I don't think 169 for CPM 20 CV is getting ripped off. This is way cool. It's built like a tank. Feels like a Riot to me. Reminds me with these big old honkers here a lot like the Riot Torrent. Remember that? And that had a real tank like build to it. So I'm just saying, um, I'm just running my damn mouth. But I just wanted to let you know. The, the knife sale is going to be on the 14th for the Patreons. It's going to be on the 16th for the public at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? 
So just keep that in mind. All right? And if you want, join my Patreon channel. You can make money by being a Patreon. I don't think there's another channel you can join and make money by being a Patreon, but you can buy mine if you sell knives, okay? If you're a $10 a month Patreon, you sell knives to my channel, you will make money because you pay me 10, you sell $500 worth of knives, you save 50 bucks in fees, you save 40 bucks in that, right? So, I mean, it just depends on the value of the knives you're selling. And two per month will go without a fee. So you got a couple of $250 knives you sell, boom, right there. Save 50 bucks. Um, also, for the $10 Patreon members every month, there's a giveaway. Now, this month, the giveaway is a choice. Every month so far, it's been a choice between a flashlight and a knife. I don't know if I'm going to continue to do that, but this month I will. Next month, I may just make a combo of a lesser expensive flashlight and knife together to combine for like $150 or whatever. But this month, you can choose between the Baton 3 Patriotic Edition. This case has a built-in battery. Wirelessly charge your flashlight that's in here up to 3.7 times. 1200 lumens, all kinds of good stuff, comes with the recharge cable that recharges the internal battery and this battery and the whole thing. The whole damn thing is sealed in here. Here's all the stuff that you get. This or what? Yeah, the Civivi Synergy 3, but this is the layered G10 carbon fiber with the with the Damascus blade. So this retails for over $100, even though it's a Civivi. Civivi, how much money are you going to be charging for your knives? I mean, no, thank God Sendcut came out. Uh, they're starting to save the ship, but this, so this, they'll have a choice between this and that flashlight thing. So every month, and so far, every month has been a different winner. So that's a good thing. Um, so you got a chance. I mean, there's only like 68 guys that are $10 members. I've got, I think, just a few, a couple over 100 members total. But most of them are $10 members, but like 68 uh, $10 members. So you got a one out of 68 chance, you know? And if you're there for a whole year, you got better than that, right? Because uh, there's been no repeat winners. Uh, so I'm going to let you go. I just want to announce... Buy, sell, trade. Do it down there or contact me and I'll read it on the air. Number two, knife sale coming up, okay? So you know the date on the knife sale, right? Okay. And also just general knife news about new models that are out and available, including the ever dangerous petrified fish beluga Nash horn knives uh, design. And check his Instagram out because I'm sure he'll be pimping these as well as Petrified Fish will be posting pictures of this crazy stuff. And actually, maybe here's a little bit better picture. But this swirl here, this is cool. I've got a 949 like that. But I'm thinking about getting one and swapping blades and stuff like that. So, but I definitely, this is really interesting. I'm going to get this one here. I know I'm going to get that one there. So I'll, I'll show it to you when I get it on a video. And I'll get the little guy and the big guy. Because I probably got, oh my God, I probably got three belugas full size. And now I'm going to have at least one or two of the smaller size. It's just, I'm a beluga freak. Okay. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for hanging out. All my political rant about coronavirus. Um, I'm sick and tired of it. I hope you are sick and tired of it too. I want to live my life to hell with it. I, right now, it's like uh, Katie bar the door. I don't give a shit what happens going forward. You know, I've done what I can do. And you guys, you guys, yes, realize that we do love them. Now, somewhere under there. And stay sharp.